Hey everyone, Kale with the Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with a video that a lot of you requested quite a few times, and that is grading books. So, as you guys can see here, I have a pile of books, and I'm just going to go through all of them and grade them with you guys alongside me. So, these books, they are all newer books, they are all by Clive Cussler, and they are all from the same publisher. The reason why I wanted to do it like this was just to make things a little simpler, and uh, actually now that I'm looking at it, it looks like they are not all by the same publisher. Uh, that's too bad. That's actually surprising. I thought they were. Um, Evidently, Clive Cussler used multiple publishers. Didn't know that. But uh, these books, again, I'm just going to walk through them with you guys, grade them with you guys, and uh, tell you guys why I'm grading them the way I am. So these first four bo books that I'm going through, um, I'm just going to say they have stickers on them. I'm going to be taking the stickers off, so I'm not really putting that in on the grading. But if I was uh, not going to take the stickers off when I was selling them, I would grade these things down. So like, let's say this book was like new and it had a sticker, I would instantly say it was more like very good or something like that. So it's worth taking the stickers off because a lot of times you can raise the value of the book just by getting rid of the sticker. Um, and in addition to that, it's rather tacky when you're selling a book to leave a sticker on, especially if it's something like a Goodwill sticker, especially if it says like you paid a dollar for it and you are selling it to the person for $20, they might not be happy. But with all that said, I'm just going to walk through these books now, grade them with you guys, and I'm going to, again, tell you guys why I'm grading them the way I am. So right off the bat, I'm looking at this book and I'm going to say that it's no more than good. So the reason why it can't be anything beyond good is, as you guys can see here, it's got some warped pages. It's got them all the way through. So it looks like that's sort of water damage or something like that. In addition to that, on the outside, we have a rip in the dust jacket. So just the rip in the dust jacket it probably isn't enough to put it down to good, but uh, the dust jacket, it's also getting delaminated right down here and on this side as well. It's sort of getting uh, the plastic uh, glossiness is peeling off of it. So that's all very bad things for the book's uh, condition. Uh, of course, that is mostly just the dust jacket, so let me look at the actual book. Okay, looking at the actual book, I automatically see an issue with the cover, uh, a couple issues actually. So we have some tears right here on the top of the spine. So there's one of the tears, we've got another one right there. Uh, in addition to that, it looks like someone dropped something sharp and heavy right here on the book. So that is uh, more marks against it. It still does not look like it's enough to drop it down to acceptable. But uh, now that I'm looking at where something fell on it here, I can see that the thing went through the uh, dust jacket as well. So that is definitely a mark against it. However, the dust jacket, I'm looking at it, dust jacket looks clear of any markings. If it was written in it or anything like that, that could be bad. But now that I've looked at the outside, let me just look at the water damage on the inside. And looking at this water damage, Wow, guys, that's that's pretty severe, um, pretty substantial water damage. So uh, I'm hoping that this comes through, but there is a whole lot of warpiness. It's very bumpy. Uh, it's anything but uh, flat. You guys can feel how warped it is. And it, I think with this water damage, it puts it down to, if I said it was good, I'd be pushing it by saying it was good. Uh, saying it's acceptable I think is a lot safer of a call and personally I don't know if I'll be selling this book because of all the damage on it and I mean I paid a dollar for it if that might have been 50 cents might have gotten it for free actually I don't know for sure but with all the damage on this book I don't know if I will be selling this one because I don't have any listings where I'm selling uh, just uh, acceptable condition books for Clive Cussler uh, I might in the future though so I'm going to hang on to it for now but that's one of the books uh, next book, we have another Clive Cussler. As I said, that's what all these are. This one, just looking at it, it has uh, some wear and tear on it. I'm seeing some issues on it uh, in addition to that, but I'm hoping you guys can see with a little bit of the glare that there are definitely spots where the glossiness on the cover has worn down and it's sort of a matted color. So that alone, I would say, puts it down to a good condition. Uh, sorry, scratching my nose. Uh, after that, we have a, it looks like a, someone might have dragged something along this, maybe like a zipper, uh, but it went across the side here. I'm hoping with me moving it around, it makes it so you can see it with the glare, but uh, definitely is damaged. Uh, beyond that, I have a sticker with the previous owner's name on it. Um, well, sorry, bro. <laughs> so uh, there's that. 
And that definitely brings the value of this uh, book down because I cannot remove that sticker. Or if I try, it'd be a lot more work than what it's worth. Uh, no one's probably going to see that, but it definitely is an issue with this book. So looking at the book itself, now that I'm opening it up, I'm flipping through it. It looks like the actual book, without the dust jacket, the actual book is in fan stinking tastic shape, guys. So I'm looking at it, all the pages look sharp, they look smooth, there's no warping. The corners, that's something you guys wanna look out for, the corners, they're still very sharp, they're still very square, and that looks like it's a very good book. Uh, honestly, this might even go as like new if it was just this and if it had a good dust jacket. However, because this one has a not fantastic dust jacket, it brings the value of the overall book down. Uh, if you guys do sell a whole lot, so for me, I bought a boatload of these Clive Cussler books and a few other authors' books. If you guys do get a big selection of them, it could be worth either uh, buying a new dust jacket for a book or swapping it out for another book if the dust jacket's in better condition and can bring the overall condition of the book up. For me, if I had another uh, dust jacket of this one, which I'm just looking really quick, I don't, I don't for this one, but if I did, I would be swapping this out and making this either a very good or possibly a like new book because it's in such stinking good condition. And uh, something else though about it, so the binding of books. When you are selling a brand new book, you wanna say that the book's binding is tight. What is tight binding? So as you guys can see here, I'm just holding the book as well as I can like this. And as you can see though, it doesn't flop open too much. So the covers do flop a little bit, but the text block itself, all the pages, they like staying together, and that means that the binding, the pages are still tight. The binding is tight, and you say it's tight binding, and people will know that the book has either not been read or it's been read maybe once, and the person that read it was taking care, good care of it. So this book, overall, because of the dust jacket, I'm going to say was good condition. And again, it has a sticker, but I would remove that sticker when I was selling it so it doesn't make an impact. Next book. All right, we have Dragon. It's a very fancy font right there. Look at that. Fancy, fancy. And just looking at this book right now, with what I've already told you guys, uh, I'm sure you already know what kind of ranking I'm going to give this because of that little tear on the dust jacket. Opening it on up, there is something of interest. So you can see here at the top of the dust jacket how it's yellow, and then it goes to the white. The yellow is all faded, so that's definitely not something that's great for the book. Uh, opening it up, I'm just flipping through some of the pages, uh, looking for any issues. So none of the pages are folded, none of them are missing, uh, none of them have any markings. When you're grading a book, you want to look out for markings. So this book looks, uh, the book itself, looks like it's in very good shape. However, um, you know how the dust jacket had the little bit of yellowing? It looks like the cover does as well along the top. I'm sure it's not going to show up on the camera though, so I'm not going to waste time. And uh, besides that though, I think this book could go as very good, but because of the dust jacket, I'm going to mark it down to just good. So this one, like the last one, is just a good condition book. And personally, uh, since I'm, whenever I'm on the fence between like good or very good, I always try to grade down because if I have a little bit of a gray area on it, that means whoever is buying it is probably going to have the gray area as well. And at the end of the day, a lot of the times it's not that much of a money difference between the two conditions. Like I guess very good to good is usually a pretty big jump, but it's not worth getting a bad review and having an unhappy customer. So I would say that one is just good. Next one, uh, this one I thought was sort of funny. So if you look, the dust jacket, like the spine looks like it's totally not where it's supposed to on the dust jacket, but it actually is in the right spot, which I think is really funny because it's like, oh man, someone in the publishing just messed up there. Oy. But uh, looking at this dust jacket, as you guys can probably see, we got some waviness going on, which... Honestly, waviness is not the worst thing in the world, but we do have uh, here at the top, there's some damage on the dust jacket, so that is not great. So that alone puts it in the eh, range, you know? It's like, could be very good, could be good. Honestly, I don't know if that alone is enough to put it down to just good condition, but what is enough to make me change is right here, the dust jacket is a little folded. It's uh, also a little bit yellowed and that is something that's not very grand. So 
taking that off the rest of the way. I'm sure some of you just cringed because how I took it off, but I, I was hoping it worked better for the video. It didn't. Uh, looking at this now, though, I'm just looking at this. We got a signature on the inside front cover. Um, definitely is not Clive Custler's signature. I know that because I actually had one of these books have it and got some good money for selling that. Not great money, but good money. We also have Sharpie on it. Whenever you have Sharpie, it definitely brings it down to just good, I would say. Uh, writing in it, I don't personally think is enough to bring it down to good on its own. I, I've sold books that were very good that had text in them. I bought books that were very good that had some text in them. But normally that's just the previous owner's name and that's it. And it's like on the inside front cover. Nothing to be excited about. If you have writing on the inside of the book, like the text block, that's when you'll have issues. So I'm just flipping through really quick, looking for issues. I got some dust in it that won't come out. Um, but flipping through, we have some yellowing on the outsides of the pages. Just a little bit of yellowing. And the yellowing, I don't know if it's enough to put it down to good just on its own, but uh, it is something that you would potentially want to mention if you are selling a very expensive book. So for me, I'd be selling this book for just not very much at all, like maybe $15. So I don't think it's really worth mentioning. It's not worth my time to write that sentence, but that is something that you might want to write if you are selling the book for like $100, you know? So all said, because of the Sharpie, because of the condition of the dust jacket, I would mark this book as only good. Not very good, just good, but besides those two issues, I would say this book definitely could have passed as uh, very good. Next book. So this book, I do have the dust jacket, but I just wanted to say, if you guys have a book and it doesn't have a dust jacket, Normally, that will mark it down just to acceptable in a lot of conditions. It's because people see the dust jacket as part of the book, and if it doesn't have that, they say it's an incomplete book. I personally think that's uh, a load of hooey because I don't like dust jackets in the beginning, and also because it's a dust jacket. It doesn't contribute anything to it, but that's something that people do think. So uh, the dust jacket, it's nothing to be excited about. So on its own, this book definitely could have passed as very good. Uh, I'm actually going to be selling it as very good. And I will be doing a video on this specific book in the future because of something I'm going to show, uh, show you guys. So this book as it stands right now, though, is not very good condition. And again, that's something I'll be showing you guys in a bit. But I think this one uh, is a pretty good example of tight binding. So see the cover? Even floating like that, it still was very reluctant to open up. So there we go, about 90 degrees, and it finally opens up. That's some very tight binding, which is very nice. But as I held it like that, I'm sure you guys noticed something. See all those spots on the top on the text block right there? So all that's like little bits of mildew and all that sort of stuff. And if I was selling this book as is, I would probably be selling it as good. And I would be mentioning that mildew, all those spots, all that yuckiness. But I believe that I'll be able to clean it up and I will be doing a video in the future on that. And um, I, of course, have been experimenting with different ways to clean up foxing on books for quite a while. This partic uh, particular way that I'll be showing you guys in the video that I do on this book will be the way that I personally like doing it the most, but it's not the only way to do it. And obviously I'll, I'll walk you guys through all the different ways that you can do it as well. So because of the foxing on this, because of how severe it is, I would only mark this as good. If it was worse than this, I could even mark it as acceptable, but uh, this book as it stands is just good condition. So because of that. If it was not for that, honestly, that book could go as uh, like new even. So that's something to keep in mind. So on to the next book. So I'm just looking at it right now. And it looks like it's in very good shape. So just going to show you guys it. We got a little bit of a ding in the dust jacket there, but not the end of the world. It's not terrible. Uh, the rest of the dust jacket looks like it's in very sharp condition. Um, honestly, it looks like you could pick this up from a bookstore and this would be what it looks like when it was new. Like, it just has a little bit of like what you'd expect on bookshelf wear um, from being at the bookstore. Opening it up, I'm just flipping through the pages. It feels like it's very tight binding, so that's a very nice thing. Looking at it, still looking at it. <clears throat> and yeah, this looks like it's very good book. Um, honestly, I'm just looking at the copyright date because I have a question for myself. Yeah, most of the Clive Cussler books, for me personally, that I've come across are all first editions, which I just think is really interesting. Um, yeah, for some reason, none of the ones that I've come across that I've looked at are reprintings, which makes me wonder 
how many books Clive Cussler sold that did get reprinted because he is a very popular author. He's had two of his books get made into movies. Uh, I haven't watched one of them, but I have watched Sahara. If you guys haven't watched it, it's worth watching. It's one of my favorite movies. But uh, back to this book. So based on what I'm looking at, the book itself I would grade as uh, like new, honestly. It's in beautiful shape. But because of the little bit of damage that we have on the dust jacket here, I personally would gra grade this as only very good. But for whoever I sold this to and gave it to them, they would probably get this and be like, oh, wow, that's, this is not very good. This is like new. But because I like undergrading stuff as much as I can, I like to like shortchange things on my side and be like, yeah, it's only very good. And I know I mentioned earlier that uh, very good to good is normally a rather substantial price difference. Very good to like new. I find the prices are a lot more comparable. Uh, if you guys are selling books on Amazon, you will be able to get a lot more data on that. Uh, that's one of the best ways that I personally learned how to grade books was through my selling on Amazon. And uh, of course, this is just grading new books. Grading older books is a totally different thing. And I'll be going through that in another video in the future. But uh, for now, this is just newer books and I thought it'd be a really easier way to go through things. So on to this next book. This next book, uh, right here, I am sure this won't go through on the video, but it's got a little bit of roughness right here. It looks, it looks like it could be something that happened during the printing of the book, or potentially not. I've got a little ding on the uh, cover, dust cover right there. Um, spine looks pretty good. I mean, we got some roughness, but it's rather fine. Got a few very uh, fine surface scratches on the back cover. Opening on up, just looking at the dust jacket. Dust jacket looks pretty dandy on the inside. No markings, none of that. Looking at the book itself, again, that looks beautiful. I see no damage, uh, so not even shelf wear. The covers are still, sorry, the corners of the cover are still very sharp, so no uh, shelf wear on the book itself, which is very nice. Opening up the book, uh, binding is very tight uh, for the pages. Covers are not the tightest, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, when you are grading your books, guys, be sure to always open up to the front cover. So front, uh, lift up the dust jacket if there is one, because that's where people normally write their names or the page right after the inside front cover, or even the one after that, and all the way to like basically the table of contents. So there's no writing in this. Looking at it, I would say this book is a very strong, very good um, potentially, I would say like new if it was not for that ding and that little scratch there, but very good all day long, so that's where that one sits. On to this next book. This one might be the most beautiful of the day so far. So I'm just looking at it. Um, you guys can see the spine there. You could see the cover. That's all the dust jacket. It looks very good. I see no issues with the dust jacket itself. Uh, there's a little bit of a booger here on this, but I can literally just scratch that off right now So that's nothing to be worried about looking at it still though. It's very sharp very nice uh, Inside front cover looking at the dust jacket looking at the cover no marking no anything bad uh, No discoloration either which is all very nice on to the back cover Nothing nothing looks very good so nothing uh, is wrong with this book so far. Now I'm opening up the book and going through the text block. Just looking through it, looking for any markings, looking for any missed pages, all that sort of stuff. Looking for stuck pages. So looking at all that, I would say this book is definitely a like new. Uh, it's very, very good condition. I'm very happy with this book. So that one I would say is like new. On to this next one, Zero Hour. So this one I would say is very good just looking at the outside just because all the uh, damage to the dust jacket. It's not much damage, but it's enough. So we got some markings here that I could honestly probably clean off, but it's the spine here that makes me a little bit like, eh, it's more of a very good condition. Uh, at the very bottom, I don't even need to really take off the dust jacket, but you guys can see the cover is a little bent up and the bottom of the dust jacket's a little bent up. So when it's bent up like that, yeah, you can like fold it back, but it's never going to be just like it was when it was new. So I would say that's very good as it stands. So opening that up, I see no markings or anything like that. That's nice. Onto the back cover, same check. 
nothing looks wrong, no discoloration, that's nice. And just straightening that out. Now we're looking at the text block. And I'm just flipping through. If you guys do this long enough, you can flip through pretty stinking quick and you'll be able to pick out if there's any writing or highlights or anything like that. And uh, I saw nothing in my little flip through. I saw no missing pages. So this book, uh, the text block and the book itself, I would say would be very good or like new condition. But because of the dust jackets damage and whatnot, I would mark this down to just very good. On to this next book. Just looking it over really quick. I would say this one probably is almost as good as the one we did two ago. It's very beautiful. So only issues I see is along the front, sorry, the top of the dust jacket. It's a little bit bent up, not the end of the world whatsoever though. Uh, front cover looks clear. I really like that color that the cover is. No idea what color that is, but it's like a really deep green with some blue going on. It's nice. Next one, that also looks very good. Now we're looking at the text block. Just flipping through really quick. I see zero issues, zero writing, uh, no folded pages, no dog-eared pages. I hate dog-eared pages, by the way, guys. Worst thing ever, whoever dog-ears pages needs to get their fingers chopped off. Okay, maybe not. That might get me banned on YouTube for saying, but you know, <laughs> people need to stop breaking books. But uh, very good book uh, all day long. It does have a little ding on right next to the spine. The text block has a little bit of a ding in it. But besides that, I would say this book definitely could go as a very good or like new. So for me, I am actually selling this book as uh, very good. All the ones that I went through that were very good and like new, I'm selling. It's just very good because that's just the level that I'm selling at. I'm selling them at the ones, the other ones. They're all good except for the one that was acceptable. So on to this final book for the today. We're looking it over. Wow, this one's pretty. It's also got something weird going on. That's very weird. But uh, as it stands, minus the sticker. I would say this book definitely could be sold as like new, just from the outside. So just showing it off to you guys, a nice slow way of showing it. So the dust jacket has like no dings, no scratches, any of that. Uh, the edges of it look very sharp, no um, folds. Looking at this, again, very clean. Ooh, I like that green too. And all the Clive Cuzzler books have, Cuzzler books have good colors on them. That looks clear as well. Spine looks beautiful. Uh, doesn't look like there's any, any shelf wear along the spine. The spines normally will have uh, more shelf wear than the edges of the book from my experience. Uh, normally, sometimes there's books that the edges are, sorry, corners are a lot more torn up, but very, it depends very much. Uh, flipping through the book really quick. I see nothing. So I would say this book is very good all day long. Uh, honestly, I think I could sell this as like new or even as new if I wanted. Uh, there is, however, a sticker on the back. I'll have to remove the sticker and uh, that'll be pretty easy. Uh, I'll probably do a video in the near future on removing stickers on books because I've been doing a lot of different experiments with that. So all said and done though, guys, I hope this video was able to help you guys. Um, that's just for hardcover books. Paperback books are their own different animal um, Antique books are their own animal. There's lots of different things that you guys have to focus on when you are grading books. I'll be doing videos on antique books and paperback books in the future. This was just the very first one on grading books. I hope this video helped a lot. Uh, I'll actually be doing a playlist for this, honestly, because that'll help me organize it a little bit better for you guys to watch. But I hope this helped. Uh, I hope it really got you guys thinking on what to do with grading. Every single place that you sell your books though, they have different rules for how you grade your books. So eBay has different rules than Amazon has different rules than probably Abe Books, except Abe Books is owned by Amazon, so they might have similar rules, but you know. So there's a lot of different things though. You should look up the different websites that you are selling on. You should look up their rules for what acceptable is, what very good is, all that sort of stuff. Uh, there is variations between them. However, at the end of the day, a lot of the variations that they have are very minute. Uh, the ratings that I added for these books, I would say would be the same for if I was selling on eBay, Amazon, Abe Books, anywhere, honestly. 
and that's just stuff that you should keep in mind though when you are selling your books so with all that said and done i hope this video helped i hope to see you guys in another video so be sure to subscribe up there or down there check me out in another video and i'll see you guys in the next one